AR refund entry happens when payment is made to knock off unapplied amount of receipt payment and unapplied amount of credit note. Refund means payment voucher will be generated. To create a new AR refund entry, you may click on the shortcut icon or go to AR, AR refund entry. Click on create a new AR refund. Select the debtor account to be debited. Assign payment method and key in the payment amount and then perform the knockoff against the unapplied receipt payment or credit note. Then click on save. AR deposit entry is used to record deposit paid by debtors. This deposit can later be used to knock off against his debt, means to treat as one of the payment methods at AR receipt payment. Deposit can also be forfeited or defunded. Please take note that deposit defund is not the same as AR defund entry. Before doing AR deposit entry, you need to maintain special account of deposit and its payment method at GL account maintenance. To create a new deposit entry, you may use the shortcut icon or go to AR, AR deposit entry. Click on create a new AR deposit. Select the deposit account to be credited. Only the payment method of deposit special account will be listed. Select the debtor who is paying the deposit. Click on plus sign to select the payment method of a cash or bank account to be debited. This is the receiving account. And then key in the deposit payment amount and save. In AR receipt payment, you may select the payment method of deposit special account to convert an AR deposit to AR payment. A select deposit windows will be displayed for you to select the related debtor's deposit. The unassigned deposit means AR deposit which debtor is not defined. Highlight a deposit number and click on OK. And then you can carry on with knock off the payment. Back to AR deposit entry again. On the listing grid, deposit with outstanding amount means it has neither been fully forfeited, refunded, nor been converted to payment. You may right click on the column header and select column chooser to drag out the columns of forfeited amount, refund amount, and transferred amount. so that you can see the status of each deposit entry. Highlight the deposit entry and double click or click on view. The status of the deposit amount is displayed. To forfeit or refund the deposit, click on the forfeit and refund button. This deposit account will be debited. You may check the checkbox of forfeited deposit to forfeit partial or all the deposit amount or you can check the checkbox of refund deposit to refund partial or all deposit amount or you can check both checkboxes to partly forfeit and partly refund for forfeited deposit assign the forfeited account to be credited and key in the amount to be forfeited for refund deposit click on plus sign to select the payment method of a cash or bank account to be credited and key in the amount to be refunded. The status here shows that from deposit amount of 1000, 300 is refunded, 200 is going to be forfeited and there will be outstanding of 500. And then click on save. AR and AP contra entry is used to offset the credit balance in credit account with debit balance in debtor account. Usually this is used when both debtor and creditor refer to the same company or organization. To create a new contract entry, you may use the AR and AP contract icon or go to AR, AR and AP contract entry. To create a new contract entry, just click on create a new contract. In my case, I'm going to show you the contract entry that has been saved. 
Select data and credit accounts. Key in the contract amount. Make sure the contract number and date is correct. Then perform the knockoff for AR and AP until the unapplied amount becomes zero. You may key in document description and then save. That's all for AR refund, deposit, and contract entry. Thank you.